how I work best. You yeah. Know, not not planning anything. Improv, anyway, just go for total it. Total improv, because that was my where I started out. That's where the, I started too. Business. So I totally, yeah, I yeah. love it. Yeah, it's like there's no homework. Yeah. And uh, he's just a wonderful man. Well, that's a good question. I love hearing about it. Canal is calling from Austin, Texas. How you doing, Canal? Hi, I'm great. How are you? Good, thanks. Hi. You have a question for Lucy? Actually, yes, I did. Um, I was wondering on your new series that you just signed on, Football is Life. Yeah. Um, well, like, what was your motivation and what type of role do you have? My motivation, I really, to be honest with you, um, I had turned it down for weeks. So I just went, no, I, I hate football and I don't play wives. That's just <laughs> been a rule with me. On Battlestar, I turned down playing Ty's wife. It's like... Because David's a friend of mine, and I was just like, David, in the nicest possible way, piss off. I, don't, <laughs> <laughs> I do not play wives, right? Warrior, princess, wife, no. No, no, no. Right? So, um, uh, so I turned it down. And also, honestly, because I knew it was going to be a hit. And I've turned down hits before because I was so scared of the seven-year contract. And I would go for these kind of... <laughs> Uh, I would go for shows that I knew weren't going to last very long, but that would be really fun to shoot as a pilot. Right. So I could have... I yeah, some know, free time, right? Yeah, free time and, and a lot of diversity. And finally, this job kind of chased me so hard and it happened so fast that I couldn't say no anymore. And um, because I really liked the people that were around the project, I um, I felt like I can't afford to... I can't down. say no forever. Yeah. You know, eventually, eventually you've got to say yes, and the universe just kind of threw this on me. And do you think if you if if, you, if it's something if you say no to something and it keeps chasing you that maybe maybe somebody's trying to tell you something? Is I, that I kind did of kind of have that feeling like this has happened to me in spite of my best efforts. This has happened in a really huge way, yeah. and um, uh, yeah, I better stop disobey. You know, stop trying to control things because right. they aren't working either. You know. Yeah. So, um, you know, just going with the the flow of the universe. Well, I, don't, I have no on, reason yeah. what the – I can't imagine what the reason is for it. But anyway, I'm playing this extremely um, uh, just hard woman. She's just a tough woman who uh, is pushing her husband to be a big star. You know, he's sort of her meat puppet, as they say right. in New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> but behind every great man is a great woman, right? Isn't that what great, they also say? And she's a great and terrible woman. But I don't want it to be melodrama. You know, right. that's kind of – Creeps me out a bit. Yeah. I don't want to. I love camp, but I, I've done a lot of camp, and I need to try something else. So. We'll keep on growing. More with Lucy Lawless and your calls at Bob Guinea Show. Yeah, that is some good rock and music right there, buddy. Here we go. Put your hands together, young man. Woo! I'll tell you what, that is good stuff. Oh, we are having a good time here. Our President's Day edition of the Bob Guinea Show. We have had an incredible day so far, and joining me right now. Absolutely one of my favorite people I've ever gotten to speak with, the lovely Lucy Wallace. Is this your first show? Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, you know, honestly, you are a blast to Bonnie's interview. Bonnie's going to kill you. <laughs> she likes me, too. No, I loved her, too. But you have been so fun. You're so willing to go there, and I love it. Talking about everything that's going on. Now, you, you had, um, we were talking about Xena earlier, and then you went right from Xena to Battlestar Galactica. Well, not right from it, but I mean, as far as from cult-like shows, which have an amazing following, Xena has right. one of the most devoted followings. Then you go to Battlestar Galactica, another well, show. I did take four years off to go and have babies right. and, yes. and raise them. So it, it, like, I feel like I didn't work at all in that time. In fact, I did do a play, and I did this and that, and I worked in New Orleans at the, right up to the hurricane. You know, we yeah. were there. I've done some interesting things, but uh, I did. It seems that I dropped out for a long time and then came back on Battlestar, but... Um, see, like I felt, I felt quite the opposite. Like I, I, to me, it seemed, you know, having see, having watched Xena and then with Battlestar Galactica coming out, Battlestar Galactica was such a, a swell, groundswell of support for that show. Mm. And as it was growing, it was like by the time I tuned into Battlestar Galactica, you were on the show, you were prominent on the show. So it was uh-huh. for me, you know, it was sort of one of those things where I felt almost like you had never gone away. Other. You know, and oh, then that's, well, that's good. Yeah, and, and it was celebrity duets w- kind of thrown in the middle of those two arcs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the middle of Battlestar. Yeah, it was just that sort of thing where I could not afford. To, it was just that human level of if I'm an old lady and I chicken out of this opportunity, I'm right. going to kill myself. Right, you know? right. <laughs> like it's too late to kill yourself when you're an old lady, <laughs> isn't it? But um, 
I don't think it's ever too late, thankfully. But, but, you know. but yeah, though, doing those scary things, you just yeah, well, you, you gotta go for it, eh? Especially with an audience like that, because that is, you know, I think that is every singer's dream to have a chance to nightmare. Yeah, and I mean, nightmare, I'm sure. Honestly, there's times when you're just going, oh my god, I can't even cope. Right. Where your your only option is to go into a fetal ball. <laughs> Or, or, or go, go out, out and be huge. Yeah. 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 And, and you had to you got it out. You went I, for it. Yeah, very I did. Zena, I did. Zena but style. I, there's times when you just want to go into that fetal ball. Oh, I know, <laughs> man. And then as we had our last caller called in, you, you have a big show coming out this year, which it, it, I think it's going to be. I actually got to read the script for that a, long, a while back as well it, for Footballers. It's Footballers Wives. Right. And I think that um, obviously it's a huge success right now overseas, and they're bringing the Americanized right. version of it to uh, yeah. you know these, American television. These characters do everything that is kind of repugnant to me, like they drive around in Ferraris. Yeah. They, you know, they probably wear furs, <laughs> you know, club club the animal themselves. They go to all the clubs like, with the velvet ropes. Yeah, everything that just, I, I've got to say, I find it kind of repellent. Yeah. But I, here I am, and this was another reason I turned it down, because it's like everything these women are about repulses me. I don't like it, those things in myself, you know, bitchiness and stuff. I don't right. like them in other people. I don't, you know, want to be part of it. Right. Except in these magazines. I know. <laughs> I can't get enough of that. I mean, I'm the same way. <laughs> but, um, well, but yeah, yeah, there you go. So you have a chance to actually step outside of yourself and play that part of yourself that might be yeah, go back, a little yeah. cranky now and again. Oh, my God. We got a caller from Oshkosh. Weston. Hello, Weston. Hi. Hey, you got a question for Lucy? Yeah. You said you were going to do Footballers Live. Yeah. And you also said that you might do a Xena straight to DVD movie back in the way of this. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that? I don't know. Did I say that that I was going to do that? I don't know. I heard it from some um, Xena website. Oh, yeah. You know what? Um, Nothing's getting in the way of it at the moment. Right. Put it that way. So if it's coming, it's going to be so good. (laughs) (laughs) It's worth the wait. It has to be real good. Even if it does take some time, right? I don't know. If it it goes too long, then somebody else will be playing Xena, no doubt. (laughs) Grown. Now, would would they actually when you know? Because are you you? I've seen you with dark hair. I've seen you with blonde hair in different roles. I've mm-hmm. seen you in pictures, you know, from from a while back where you've had it seemed like reddish colored hair. Do yeah. they actually when you did Xena? Did they Dyed make you dye black. your hair black? Yeah. yeah. So they wanted you to have black hair, dark features. Well, I wanted it. You did for the character. Initially, they wanted to go, you know, blonde or something. I I just felt like it should be more the Gabriella Sabatini. She was big in yeah. tennis at the time. Sure. And that that would be a, just a stronger, more interesting way to go. Yeah. That she'd be more formidable. And they, you know, the producers agreed and off we went. Right. And if you, when you, after you did that part, I mean, now you've seen what's happened to Britney's hair from dyeing it so much. Did you, <laughs> <laughs> did you ever feel like just shaving it off? Oh, you mean her head? Yeah. Oh, um. Because you know her hair turned to like straw. My buddy who's her hairdresser told me that. And so I was wondering because of the different roles you had to color your hair. I was thinking, man, I, I bet. Well, you had someone professional do wow, it. She was I doing it with a box a of nice and easy. man who wants to have the hair conversation. Oh, I just think it's great that Britney shaved her head. I so do I. I'm fascinated I love that. with it. Yeah. I love that she did that. And, I'm and fascinated. It only makes her like a huge star. She never has to sing again. I know. Like, hey, I went and looked at her house out in Malibu. We were looking at houses to buy. Oh, nice. And, um,. And she does, in fact, have the wedding dress like framed on the wall, and you all her stuff still in there. And it was really kind of sad, actually. I oh. felt sad walking through there because it's been put together with so much hope. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like this was going to be their love nest, oh. and then it, it was. That is sad. Yeah, it actually wasn't. Yeah, I felt I felt bad for the uh, the broken dream. You know. Yeah. There was a real innocence about that place. Yeah, although at the same time, you know, I think when you, when you see K Fed, you, you probably don't ever imagine that it would be. Much of a happily ever after. I don't know why. I didn't buy it in that guy. But uh, I don't know. I want my girl Brittany to be happy. I do. Yeah. Well, she, I reckon she's going the right way. Right? It's yeah. like, like. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with me, Lucy. Lucy, I appreciate it. Thanks to all of our listeners for being a part of the Bob Guinea Show. We are.